Prozan, Prozan, heroes. Gonna tell you about Prozan, Prozan, heroes. Gonna tell you about comic books, costumes, facts, boots, and other stuff. Welcome into Bros, Foes, and Heroes, and our pulls of the week. I am Zach, joined, as always, for this part, our this weekly show of ours, by Mason instead of Mike. I love I love that both of you guys have M's for names, so it makes it easier for me to... Enunciate? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I can always, and maybe you never know who's going to show up. Like, I could swerve you, and Mason could be on the other show one day. Uh, but what we have here is... Our show each week where we go ahead and tell you what we pulled from last week, what to look forward to, what's coming out this week too, uh, a look behind, a look ahead, and a look of what's going on in comics. And Mason, I know one thing that we talked about last week that we were both getting, and I think it'll make sense for us to start off with, is Superman 2. And after reading the second issue, I'm still on board and I'm still interested to see where it's going. Oh, hell yeah, the same. Issue 2, Joshua Williamson, and crap, I forget the artist's name. What's his uh, name? Something <laughs> Campbell. Uh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> well, we'll we'll look it up real quick. But the, the story is just um, I'm very interested to see. Obviously, uh, I'm trying Jamal to Jamal Campbell. To... Jamal Campbell. There you go. That uh, is fantastic. Yeah. No, it's really great. It looks great. Uh, I'm very interested to see uh, what's going on with these uh, parasites. I think I can say that without you know yeah giving anything away. Also, you t- talked about how they teased it a bit. We got another little teaser for a Wild West portion of the story here, yeah. which should be interesting. There were this new character, Marilyn Moonlight, who is interesting. Um, I thought she was going to appear more in the issue than the cover yeah. suggests. But, I mean, she showed up, and this is clearly, like, this is her first appearance. You're going to see this character later. Well, can I, can I see your cover real quick? Just yeah. to show, because she's it, on the main cover. She is on the main cover, but looking at it, it also made me think that we were about to be introduced to somehow... Like a new villain. Yeah, like that was who... I guess we kind of got introduced... Again, I don't want to give anything away, especially so early on, but we kind of see, I think, who the villains are going to be in this. For at least a while. At least least for a bit, and it's not her, so it kind of confused me. Do you know these these guys have shown up before? I don't. So here's the thing, is I am... uh, My knowledge, if it's there, it's for older stuff, the newer stuff, I am, and the more recent stuff... I'm going to have to rely on you. Have you? I've never you, heard. I haven't read okay. Superman in a long time. Okay, good. Then I'm the same here with you. So uh, I'll have to look into that for sure. I feel like maybe a couple of them uh, might be, but I do like where it's going. So Superman yeah. number two was a, a solid, a solid. Get. Yeah. And worth the $5. I don't love how Superman's going to be $5 every month or six if you want to get a cool variant. Yeah. But, um, you know, it, so far, the book has been worth it. Yes. Um, I also, this week, I got Scorched 16, uh, continuing of the Spawn Team Universe book. Yeah. Very fun. Just fun, fun, f- um, art by Steven Segovia. Fun story, cool characters, and cool art. Nothing deep, but it's it's fun. Uh, another one that I picked up then, I did not get that, but I think one that I got that you didn't was a new image book called Dead Romans, which was yeah. a, a little different for me. Um, a more it looked his- interesting, but I just, I, I mean, I just I didn't intrigue me too much but i might check it out uh, i'm to the point out. where again i'm trying to hop on and find new stuff right now mm-hmm. and obviously we want to give everybody across the board and it seemed it, it's set obviously back during roman times it's, it's a historical comic in a way and uh, i'll give it a couple issues i i liked the art of it um i'll be interested to see where the story goes but so far uh it was uh, i'll be you know interesting to see mm-hmm where this goes and a different route than I usually go down for my comic wise, but a, a, a one that maybe I'm okay to see how it ends up in branching out off from of our regular stuff. I also picked up vanish number five of uh, vanish returns. Um, Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman. Um, it's, it was a fun issue. Uh, went in a direction I didn't see coming based off of where the last issue ended, but a good return. I got the Scotty young cover because he does all his, um, when he's when he's drawing, he does everything in like baby form, and it's just that's it's really just, cool. It's just looking. cool and fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I also got um, we both got this. I got we both got Doctor Strange number one, yes. the new by Jen McKay and 
Pasquale Ferry. I will say I really enjoyed the art a lot through yes. it. Now, I, I don't want to make it seem like I was going and not thinking I would, but yeah, well, I just hadn't p- thought about it when art, I went to the book. His art works best for a Doctor Strange, at least in this, the way he's drawn here. It works this is perfect for yeah, no. this kind of story. I, story. So I love the way it looked. Story wise, again, I am just jumping right into it. Yeah. So is, it's I'm, coming off of the death of Doctor Strange and the ten issue run where Clea was Sorcerer Supreme. Yes, and yeah. so we're just kind of picking up with there. But so far, uh, we're kicking things right off with a bang. Uh, I would say a, a pretty decent sized bang. Yeah, uh, uh, decent. First, I liked the parts where he's going through his week and just helping random yes, heroes. Yes, oh, that stuff. was that was really good. That was really funny. Or, I don't know if I'm. I'm going to be that in inv- I don't know if I'm going to pick up issue two because I liked it. I don't know if I'm invested in this whole new well, here's, um, mystery we're going to start. Here's I'm, I've, I've asked you before just because I'm not into a lot of the new Marvel stuff. I am interested now. I might have to go back and figure out what's going on with Spider-Man. I haven't been caught up with Spider-Man in a long time. Um, I dropped it after issue like 11. They're not... Because uh, issue one, sorry, I cut you off, but no, you're, you're you know how he says, like, uh, Peter's been going through some rough stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is the thing that irritates me. So issue one of Spider-Man, star, uh, the new Amazing Spider-Man starts where six months ago, Peter did something crazy or something horrible, and everyone hates him. All the heroes hate him. Johnny Storm hates him. Oh, my God. But it's the irritating part is... We don't know what it is. We don't know what it is, but everyone else does. And that's fine for a story, but not when it's 22 issues until you get into... Until you even start revealing it in a story arc, which you're probably not even going to actually reveal what happened until halfway through or four issues in. So there's in that arc, finally, we're doing... like so, uh, Some characters have come back from before. So we're just now getting Zeb into Wolf. it now? Just now getting to now. 22 issues in, 22 months... twenty Or like eight months in... I don't know how often. Is he bi- Yeah, okay. After Dark Web, it took after Dark Web an event I didn't read to. I don't know. It's um, I don't hate it. I like Jr. Jr.'s art. I like Zeb Wells as a writer. Um, it's just, it didn't, and I could forgive the long wait if the stories they were doing were interesting to me, but too much Norman Osborn in those first couple of issues I read. There was a whole damn Judgment Day issue dedicated to him. Well, not dedicated to him, but dedicated again to Gwen Stacy stuff. Mm. And yeah, it's a pivotal story, but yeah, I get it. She died. That sounds really cold, but <laughs> she's dead. She's cold. been dead for a long time. Uh, it's time to move on. Uh, I'm sorry. I, uh, that sounds really cold, but it's just. And then Nor- I, Norman is just too involved in this book for me. He's trying to be a good guy after the Nick Spencer stuff. And that's fine, but I don't like Norman. I don't know. I don't know anybody who actually likes Norman Osborn as a character. Do you? From what I've read, no, not really. No, not and really. I mean, my, and what I've read asshole. is different from you, but yeah, I've never really liked Norman Osborn. And obviously. And like they try to do stuff with him. And I heard this Gold Goblin book where he's like trying See, to find I redemption. Saw, I heard that's that amazing. That okay. But I just don't care enough. So I wanted to. Because so, also, you know that probably by the end of this Zeb Wells run, he's going to be the final villain. Because of course he is. Yeah, but so Golden Goblin, our Gold Goblin, is just like a hero run for. I believe so. I didn't bother reading it. Okay, I saw it was coming out when I was looking for new stuff. So. Uh, but so uh, also just that I was trying to figure out what was up with Superman or Superman Spider Man, and he apparently also lost his soul on a game of a <laughs> on a card game to a demon. Yeah, yeah so he's, I think he's that just was just a luck. dumb part of this issue, but it, it was, was fun. It was, it was fun. fun. Yeah. It was fun. Uh, so that's what we got last week, and I think some decent things there. What I'm looking forward to this week, something that I tried to pick up a week early when I brought it up last week, but I'm going to get it this week because it comes out this week, and that's Unstoppable Doom Patrol. Yes. Um, I know that we're getting a couple new characters in this run. Uh, I think we have Negative Man, um, Elastigirl, and I think, I don't know if Cliff's in there or not. I can't remember. I had the rod it right up somewhere. But the chief isn't there. Jane's the leader is what it sounds like it's going to be with this, with her new persona, the chief. But uh, interested to see. The write-up sounds really interesting there. The other thing that I want to get DC-wise, and then I'll save the last book I'm looking forward to after I let you talk a bit, because I think it's a little bit of a a, a different one, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Harley Quinn number 28 comes out this week. Uh, it's a new creative team. We talked about that a little bit. Um, before we hopped on and did the show, I've wanted to hop on to Harley Quinn. I've been trying to find a spot to do that. So if issue number 28 is going to be the place for me to do it, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. We'll see how that works out. 
and that'll give me something new because I feel like it's going to, it's brought up with the Dawn of DC stuff. So I don't know if Harley Quinn's going to find her way into it. Uh, Unstoppable Doom Patrol, also in the same universe. I'm following the Dawn of DC stuff until it stops being enjoyable to me. Yeah. So, think- so far, the Superman stuff I've liked. So we'll keep going. But I have a feeling that maybe in a couple months, uh, I'm not going to have all of them, and it'll maybe just be like one or two. Well, especially since a good chunk of them, uh, Doom Patrol is only going to be seven issues. Yeah. So um, we'll see. Uh, for me, uh, Action Comics 1053 comes out next week. I'm super hyped. Oh, I've, is that the final? Is it, is this wrapping up? Isn't like 1051 through 1053 a story arc? Uh, I do not know. I mean, it's going on for a while. I think... I think the I think it's the last issue of the of the one of the Wonder Girl subplot. Oh, okay, okay. But I, out of the Metalo stuff, that's still going, as far you. as I know. Um, picking up that. Um, uh, for anyone interested, Gotham City Year One ends. I don't know if I'm going to get it, but uh, Dark Knights of Steel comes back. Uh, okay. Detective Comics. Oh yeah, 1070. Uh, issue, I think issue ten. That, issue ten. That, yeah, is it's it almost out of twelve. Done. It's out of twelve. It's almost done. See, I have. So that's this is a funny one. My brother has it. Or like pulled it and so when he gets them he get after he reads them he gives them to me and i have it and i'm waiting to like get it all and then i'll read yeah. all through that probably it's one annoying thing dc's been doing and i get um the making delays? art is hard it's not necessarily delays they do six issues there's delayed and then they do the first trade is six issues and then the second trade comes out later and then later they'll do the whole thing in a collection and it's irritating because i have to wait like Three years to yeah. read the whole story all in one go in one whole collection, yeah. which I get. It's no one's real, it's really no one's fault. It's just the way it works. It's just for my brain. It's like I'd rather just read the whole thing in one go than read. Ha- same thing with Human Target that just ended. I'd rather read it all, have one big collection, nice collection, than yeah. two separate hardcovers or one hardcover, one soft cover. It's just. But that's just me complaining for no reason. <laughs> no, you're fine. And then also Waller versus Wildstorm. I did see that. I thought about that, but I got to kind of keep it a little thin right now. Yeah. I might come back and revisit that. Yeah. And then um, that's for DC for Marvel. I um, do have I do have one Marvel book that I'm going to pick up, and uh, it's going to be Clobber in Time number one. Uh, oh, yeah. It that looks, looks like it could be fun. It looks like it's going to be fun, uh, especially issue one is going to be Ben Grimm or the thing and the Hulk together. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to pick that up just to see how that goes. If he, if it's going to be the thing just going through uh, beating the crap out of uh, different folks with other Marvel superheroes, I could get on board for that. So um, I'm going to give that a shot. Uh, there's a new Iron Man and Thor issue coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not going to get those, but this could be good. Deadpool 5 coming out. That could be good. I, I think I might get that Venom one. Venom might be a part of it. Oh, I don't it's, know. Car- it's Carnage. Oh, is that Cause Carnage? Because car- okay. in this run so far, Deadpool's been injected with the Carnage symbiote, and he's like, inside of him it's, oh, it's actually pretty interesting okay okay it's the martin cocolo on art and that's just been the best part um decent story uh daredevil nine's coming out which i'm getting easily um they actually announced that run's gonna be ending soon i was about to say yeah. which really sucks but of course i mean it has to it has to end at some point yeah. so i'm um, hopefully well, isn't stick- he about to start sadarsky or Chichetto? yeah sadarsky wasn't chip or is chip already working on batman he's been working on batman Dude, I'm so far behind. Yeah, he's doing Batman and Daredevil. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah. and a creator own thing at the same time. So. Oh, is that the public domain? Yes. I don't know if that's a li- ongoing or a limited. I but keep, I keep wanting to pick that up. That does yeah. look good. Yeah, it looks okay. I liked Stillwater. Um, and High Republic: The Blade for me is finally coming out. The number four, so that'll be a fun thing to end. Boom, Scott. Something is killing the children. Thirty I mean, coming out. I'm picking up. And some other um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers 2, issue number four, comes out. That's a fun little series if you like Teenage, the TMNT, and, and well, wait, Power so, Rangers. Wait, so it's both of them together in a... Yeah, both of them together in a book. I'm it's a have sequel to go- series because they already had one trade. Oh, did out. they? Yeah. Okay. Um, I love mashups like that. There's this new image book called Indigo Children. I did see that. That looked mm-hmm. interesting, too. Uh, I don't know idea what it's about, but if anyone wants a cool number one, it could be good. Hitomi number five I'm picking up because it's a... Cool, um, um, feudal Japan era samurai story. Ooh, okay. So it's just oh, yeah, yeah. Last we, we issue. talked about that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's fun. And that's about it for me. So um, I think we got a lot of good things to look forward to and a lot of things to uh, talk about for next week. Real quick, just before we wrap up, because I teased it last week and we talked about it too. I ended up getting the whole trade of Tom King's Mr. Marvel. Uh, Mr. Tom Miracle. King, uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. I have, 
I don't know. I was thinking of Neil Gaiman on something else for some reason. But yes, sorry. Tom King's Mr. Miracle. Uh, and also, I think uh, Mitch Gerard's is art on that. And it's, yeah. oh my goodness. Beautiful. It is one of the, and I, I, I know, I don't say this lightly, it is one of the best comics that I've read mm-hmm. ever. Like, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, found it very relatable. Also thought it was a very good love letter to Jack Kirby in a lot of ways. Very too. much so. And Because uh, so, literally, Miss, full sp- spoilers for a four-year-old book. Five, no, six-year-old book. Six-year-old book. Um, uh, Mr. Miracle has a kid, and he names him Jack. He names him, yeah. And they call him Jacob. Like, you know that it's... And here's the thing, too, uh, is it's so... It's so... I, I won't lie. I got emotional reading the book a couple mm-hmm. times. It'll hit. It, it hits you, and there's even something so Especially cute. Especially if you as, ever, if ever dealt with uh, mental health or self, oh yeah, self esteem or self worth. It's a very relatable book, and it was really good. But I also love just from a comic nerd standpoint because mm-hmm. we know that Funky Flash was created as Jack Kirby taking his frustrations out at Stanley at the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that's the only time he ever appeared was in Mister Miracle, and he makes an appearance here. But the way it's done, it's kind of as funky as actually Stan in a way. Mm-hmm. And it's Stan and Jack working together again. The part at the end where he's like, no, Jack draws the stories. I just put the words to him. Oh, man. Yeah. Like, it's so good. Oh, Especially, wow. It also gets sad when you realize Stan died a year after this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but it, it's so good all the way around. So I recommend if you haven't read it to go yeah. check that out, too. But, Very heavy so, subject matter, but super good. Uh, I would recommend if you want to read another Tom King miniseries, I recommend Rorschach. Rorschach. I've heard Rorschach's good. It's amazing. How's his run on? Didn't he just do? You talked about Human Target coming to an end. I heard that's really good. I tried it. It was okay. Not for me. But um, I heard that everyone says that just ended and everyone says that's bloody amazing. So, uh, so I mean, I I know that he's very uh, divisive. Some people don't like him, and that's fine. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Yeah. Me, personally, I enjoy most everything I read about Tom King. The one thing that's I like cool. is when he writes, he cares. And you can tell that he, he's trying at yeah. least. Even if you don't like it, you can tell he's, he's putting an yeah. effort. He's not for hamming anything. No, in. no, no, exactly. And I think that that's the thing is a lot that, – that's – I don't know if we talked about it before, but like as much as people want to bag on like Rob Liefeld art wise mm-hmm. is the thing that I always hear all the time is just how enthusiastic he yeah, is about and everything. Passionate, yeah. And so, yeah. So even if that's the case, you can't knock on a guy that has much passion for what he's doing. So mm-hmm. I won't knock Rob Liefeld and his love for comics and what mm-hmm. he's going to do there. So it's the same kind of thing I feel mm-hmm. in a way there, but all right. So that does it for us this week. Go out. Uh, pick up what you're looking out for. You know what? Go ahead. I tease it on the other one. If you want to, go ahead and send us an email, brosfoesandheroes at gmail.com. Let us know what you're picking up while you're out there. Uh, what what books do we need to be turned on to? Hopefully, uh, our guide lets you know and uh, or lets you know what to look forward to and gives you an idea if you didn't know what's coming out this week. And until next week, stay safe, everybody. Frozen, Frozen, heroes, gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, heroes, gonna tell you about This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.